Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah. Um. I forgot what my introduction was. Whatever. Um. Excuse me. I'm very self-conscious now that I, that the camera is on. Hmm. Well, you know, fuck it. I don't care. I'm gonna just leave it like this. Fuck you. Okay. <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna just record every day, maybe. Share my thoughts. Hmm. Not because I wanna make a billion, billion dollars from YouTube, but maybe as like a place where I can keep my thoughts and stuff. I don't know. Um, um, I do have this pressure to tell, to talk all the time, but whatever. Um, I'll just talk about anything, whatever. Um, uh, you know, I keep talking about, uh, you know. Uh, I don't know. I definitely feel more self-conscious knowing that, you know. But the reason why I'm doing it is because I feel like I was recording something. Uh, I was recording, what is it? Voice? I mean, the reason why I decided to do this is because I was, you know, voice recording myself because I was writing, basically I'm writing a book, right? I'm writing a book and long story short, one of my coworkers, he doesn't text, he just voice records it. And I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe I should uh, do that as well because sometimes, sometimes, uh, what is it? Uh, sometimes, uh, my, uh, sometimes my coworker does that. And sometimes I, yeah, sometimes I get these thoughts, these brilliant thoughts. They're just, they're fleeting thoughts. I try to write it all down with my two thumbs like this on a phone. It's not really effective. And then I tried, Part of me, just being comfortable, you know. You don't even exist. This is recording for me. Um, but I'll make it public. <laughs> because um, I like getting attentions and stuff. Uh, what is it? Yeah, fleeting thoughts. I thought I'd try the voice recording to capture all that. And it turns out it's pretty good. And then I'm like, oh, I should do this every day. I should just... Uh, I'll keep recording of myself um, but then I thought oh instead of doing audio only why don't I just do a video recording every day or whenever I feel like because now that I have let go of all these like thoughts of um, expectations the pressure oh I'm gonna be a youtuber oh look at me I'm gonna be a youtuber trying all that yeah i used to do that you know but then i'm like you know what uh there is a theory where uh, i learned this from a japanese youtuber called daigo he's he's like this famous mentalist japanese guy also a youtuber has like millions of subscribers and one of his videos well, basically what he does is he just shares like theories and cool learning stuff <coughs> excuse me um so what he does is he shared this theory called l-e-f-f -F. uh so what it is is it's light for e l e for easy f is for fast and another f is for few so i forgot the title of the video the title of the video was um five rules that he does for himself or whatever and what's one of the rules 
So, if, so basically the theory is if you want to do something or if you want something, when you start a project, you stick with LEFF, light, easy, fast, few. That way my camera doesn't fall down. And that way you don't have to do all the preparation, all the expectation. And what's the most important thing about the project? Shut, stop hitting the desk. Is that you just have to start a project. That's the hardest thing in, in any project. Um, so here it is, just me thinking, oh, I should really voice record every day to oh videos i should just use more videos you upload videos because uh there is it's more it's a rich media i just i thought you know voice recording would be nice but has more memories for me to look back when i record every day maybe maybe who knows whenever time to time these moments i want to keep for myself because i'm getting old fuck <laughs> I am getting old, so this is not gonna be like. Uh, and once I let go all of all my expectations of being a YouTuber, it's much easier for me to start this project with the LEFF theory. Um, yeah, just share my life, whatever, all my thoughts. Maybe there will be some brilliant thoughts, and and who knows, whatever. Um, Anyways, LEFF, start the project, just stick to it. Easy shit, stick to it. And there it is. This is gonna be my being back to YouTube 101, day one again. Cause I did this before. Cause back then, I, when I did YouTube before, I used to have like, oh, I need to get all the right angles, right cameras. Oh my God, the, all these YouTubers use like these fancy cameras and stuff. Uh, the more I got older, the older I got, I realized, oh, it's not really about those fancy equipments. It's not equipments that, that made them famous or popular. It's... And uh, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to start my YouTube thing until I'm ready because, you know, the first 10 episodes, the first 10 episodes or videos are the most important thing to start your channel. Sure, it is, but is that going to delay your project? I, it did for me it only increased my expectation because hey i've bought all these equipments all these fancy things new camera new heavy camera the lighting yeah they 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 are important they are important of course good quality production is good but for me uh one thing i learned is it's it's better to just start the project and build upon it than uh, Trying to gather all the things before it can start. So, voila! I'm learning French, by the way. Voila! And, yeah, maybe I can just do this from time to time. Whenever I have time, I'll put it on my to-do list. I do have a to-do list. I see it. I might as well share this my to-do list. Cool, right? Pretty cool stuff. Uh... I'm not gonna show it to you because fuck you. I don't give a shit. Uh, I'm reading the subtle arts of not giving a fuck. Yeah, so fuck you. I don't care. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not allowed to swear because demonetization on YouTube. Shut the fuck up. I'm doing this for me mostly. And partly, I'm not going to lie, there's a part of me thinking, Ah, oh, baby, this is going to be amazing. Another thing, another source of income. I don't, uh, my expectation is very low. Not going to care. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I think the most important thing is that, you know, uh, like the song. I don't know if you know the song. I don't even know the title of the song. Um, it's a Japanese band. No, it's not. I forgot where I got it from. It's uh, what is it? It's I think it's an anime opening song, maybe from Parakamon. I think I think it is Parakamon, um, where they say uh, life is collecting. 
I don't know if that's about a kimono. But the, 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 the lyrics was, life is about collecting uh, happy memories or something? Journey? I, um, if you know what song I'm talking about, write down below. <laughs> you know you know what to watch this, I know. <laughs> but if you know... <laughs> I don't know, yeah, just whatever. Uh, so I'm reading this book. No, I didn't read this book. I am. I did this course called Learning by... No. Learning How to Learn by Barbara Oakland. I hope I'm saying her right. It's her name right. She's brilliant. Brilliant course. It's free on uh, Coursera. I didn't know about this until now. Um, good thing I learned... I w now I was gonna say a oh, good thing I learned now I I wish I was gonna say that I, w I wish I learned this before but eh. what can you do that's life I am learning it now I learned it and in that course yeah they, they say um, what is it they say virtue no Virtue of less. What the fuck? Perseverance is the virtue of less brilliant. Let me Google that up actually. Perseverance is the less. Virtue of less brilliant. Perseverance is the virtue of the less brilliant. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's this guy. Santiago Ramon y Cajal. That's what they talk about in that course. That's what I learned. Um, yeah, man, you don't have to be brilliant. I wish I was. Actually, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I wish I do. I was brilliant. Anyways, um, I don't think I am that brilliant. But I definitely have the perseverance. And I do believe the virtue. It's one of the virtue virtues of the less brilliant and that's how you get things done you just keep going at it you don't wait for some brilliant inspirations to come you just build upon it one step at a time there you go um because you know you think about it you know one video is better than no videos right but that also doesn't mean that I don't uh, belittle inspiration because, uh, what's his name? Einstein? No. The guy who invented the light bulb. Not Einstein. What's his name? The thing about this is, is it's, hard, it's hard to focus on your own thought when you're like recording and being aware that you're being recorded. Uh, it makes you self-conscious, but, uh, what is it? The guy who made it, Einstein, no, in, Ein, Ein, not Einstein, uh, Google, and then the light bulb. Thomas Edison, yeah, 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 Thomas Edison said, I don't know if it's true, but that's what I know. I could be wrong. That, uh, you know, uh, what is it? 99% of hard work and 1% inspiration. People think that, you know, they, 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 they like to focus on the 99% of the hard work, I was told. But the common, that's the common misconception. Well, but the real thing is 1% inspiration. Uh, Unless without the inspiration, nothing gets done. All right. I mean, if you think about it, without my inspiration of, oh, I'm going to voice record my thing. And then now I'm like doing this. This video would not have been created if I didn't have that inspiration. And uh, I mean, I also, the easier the hard work is with the going back to the theory of L-E-F-F, light, easy, fast, few, the easier it gets done. 
and finished is better than perfect. Apparently that's what they say on uh, in Facebook company or whatever. I don't know. In Facebook. You know Facebook. Mark. Mark. Zuckerberg. But yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Gibberish. Some gibberish. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll make these 15 videos. Oh, there you go. 15 more. Goodbye.